what's your name madam and uh, you are from uchi university i am professor sneha i am from vit ap school of law vit ap university which is in amaravati sir so what kind of courses you are offering so uh, we have several schools starting with engineering management and uh, law and we also have schools of uh, applied sciences uh, so uh, humanities so there are several schools but i represent law school out here sir so we in law school are offering two courses right now that is ba llb and bba llb honors so where is it is located uh, it is located in amravati sir which is uh, the campus is just nearby secretariat and high court so what are the specialties of uh, your university like uh, about your faculty strengths and your placement assistance and your recent achievements so uh, i'll specifically talk about the law school sir uh, law school we have fac we just started off 3 years back and we have somewhere around 12 law faculty and uh, uh, the other school support us with the management and ba subjects so we have sister schools as i said and uh, we at university has got uh, more than uh, 100 patents registered in last year so that's a kind of a milestone for us and uh, we had 1000 uh, plus publications in scopus for by the faculty so it can convey as to how uh, you know efficient the faculty are at vit university and also uh, in law school we have faculty from national law universities which are top pioneer uh, universities in india uh, so we all have uh, studied from there so i, I have pursued uh, my phd from maharashtra national law university myself so all my faculty are well uh, you know uh, qualified and also we are all net qualified which is again ugc uh, specification entrance exam for being an assistant professor so pro faculty profile has been amazing out there how is the training facilities classrooms and other equipped latest the led screens and sound systems so for law school most importantly we need to have a moot court and moot court is amazingly built in law school we give them that court appearance so that the students are well trained on advocacy as such so we have several clubs and committees which uh, you know help them for how to do arbitration mediation uh, client counseling we talk about muns parliamentary debate so we train them on several aspects on day to day basis apart from teaching so uh, it's an intensive training which gives them holistic approach for all of the uh, you know skills that are needed for the law students sir what is the duration for this course so these uh, the duration is 5 years sir so we give them two honors so it's like bba plus llb or ba plus llb and specialization so we offer five to six specializations like international law uh, commercial law intellectual property rights technology law which is one of its kind because today ai we all fear of ai coming into existence and human survival gets difficult so we do understand the how the technology has to be paced up with including in the law school so in olden days law students has to only get the practice to start their earnings but nowadays many mncs are offering uh, many interesting jobs in, with good packages how your students are getting placed in this big mncs so uh, to start with vitap university as such is known for its placement so last year i think we have given placement of which uh, was about uh, one one cr or so for the engineering student so the placement has been amazing for vit for last uh, students particularly yeah, so that is the case and when it comes to law students right now we are the third batch sir so we don't have a pass out student batch but however we have a good contacts as wit uh, you know wit has already proven its brand so what happens all the uh, companies which are coming for recruiting engineering also ask us when is the batch coming out because they already know the quality of the training that we provide to the students so i think the placement is going to be amazing and just as somayajulu sir himself has offered an internship uh, for 10 uh, students of our law school in his chambers so like that most of the judges have done so sir so what is the biggest package you got students uh, got sir right now as i said they are in the third year so right now we do not last student from university, from sir, university around 1.2 or something sir of cr university also you assist the placement cell or yes, placement yes. assistance kind of a thing 
Yes, sir, we do have that. Uh, we also have MOU, sir, with uh, other universities like Birmingham University. We have MOU, which gives law students an advantage to do their course here in uh, with AP, and then they can go abroad and also finish it. Like maybe one year or so, they can go there, have that experience and exposure. So no other schools in India is actually giving that advantage. How is the residential facilities here around Amravati? So first floor. Uh, we have a residential facility on the campus itself. So we have a ladies hostel, men's hostel, which have been supervised by supervisors as well as wardens and uh, uh, the uh, assistant managers as well. So usually wardens are the faculty so that we get the control of the students and the security and safety is being taken care of. And recent achievements from your university? So uh, we have collaborated with Competition Commission of India as a law school because WIT AP as such has got a lot of achievements. So a uh, law school has collaborated with Competition Commission of India where CCI is willing to sponsor us 3 lakh rupees uh, worth uh, for conducting a competition that is National Moot Court Competition which is going to be held in the month of April. So that is one good collaboration that we had. Uh, and uh, the MO, MOU signed uh, with the Birmingham University giving students an opportunity to go abroad and study. And I think these are the major two which happened in the last uh, one or two months. How is this Meru University fair? So the fair seems to be uh, you know, uh, conducted really well, organized properly. We can see good footfall. And I think a lot of students have come up with different queries and think uh, this is giving them opportunity to understand what opportunities they have because unless and until they do not have that information, they cannot make good choices. And uh, fairs like this should be conducted so that students are given that knowledge and then they can make right choices. Is there any suggestions from your end to the students for selecting their career? Sir, uh, I think they're very young to make the decisions. I, I have suggestion for the parents instead of students. So uh, we as parents usually think of uh, you know, engineering or medicine. Uh, I think there are a lot, or, a lot of other opportunities which are coming up today. And you cannot put streamline your kids into two, one or two fields. You give them a lot of opportunities, ask them to decide what they want. So parents have to be well aware of what's happening and in and around so that they give that proper guidance because we all as kids look up to our parents and that's one thing and I also uh, think that students uh, at the school level, the faculty should also be uh, open to different careers, maybe agriculture, I think it's amazing these days, so psychology, law, there's so many things, so I think students should be informed and knowledge should be, uh, information should be disseminated. Parents should come out of box and think other opportunities and other careers than the B.Tech. Uh, really good suggestion, it's a valuable point. Really parents has to come and think out of the box. This is all about uh, their university. Thank you, thank you very much madam for sharing the valuable information. Like, share, share. For more information, subscribe and stay tuned to ITTV.